What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and I talk about frugal living, fitness motivation, and minimalism. In this video, I'm gonna give you some more fitness tips. So get ready. I finally made it to my deployed location. I was in quarantine for a bit, but totally understandable under the current global pandemic. So there's that. And I actually like deploying it's just a change in scenery, a change in the job, it's challenging, um, so I really enjoy it. So like I mentioned in my previous videos, I'm not a fitness expert, guru, or anything like that, just a regular person, and I just wanted to provide some regular person perspective, if you will, on some fitness stuff that I do, and what your thoughts are on it, and if you recommend anything different. So here's some tips that I do that might be able to help you or have you think of something else from these tips. So here we go. So my first tip that you've heard a million times, but it's really important, is to hydrate. So that doesn't mean coffee. So if water goes in coffee and you're like, oh, I'm drinking water because it's in this coffee. No, that doesn't count. Stop it. It means just regular water. Sometimes I put those little Mio Energy squirt flavor things in my water and it looks like this. So I do one squirt, but this the squirt keeps going until you let go. So I just do it until it gets to like this color. And people are like, what are you drinking? I'm like, I'm drinking water. And they're like, um, that doesn't look like water. Yes, it is. Because Mio has nothing in it basically except B12, maybe some other things, but it's zero calorie and all that. So I hydrate a lot and I use that and it's got caffeine in it so I don't need to drink coffee. If I do drink coffee, I just drink it with nothing in it, not even the stevias, just straight black coffee. That's what I drink if I'm drinking coffee. And I believe it's recommended that you drink a gallon a day. It's hard to do that. It's hard to drink a gallon a day. So when I'm really focused on doing that, I'll mark on like a gallon of water, maybe an hour, like, okay, by noon, I need to be at this spot on my bottle of water. Um, so that motivates me and keeps me on track if you're, if you're really aiming to do a gallon a day. Okay, so that leads to my second tip, which is to use the bathroom before you start working out. So whether it's one or two or both, you need to, it just helps clear your mind. And if, for example, if you're running and you're a couple miles into it, you don't wanna stop and go use the bathroom because it's more difficult to restart running, for example, once you've stopped. Even if you stop to walk and then you wanna start back running again, it's more difficult to start back if you stop and get off the treadmill or if you're outside and you're already away from the bathroom at that point. So I recommend just go to the bathroom. If you're taking a pre-workout, sometimes you'll need to go anyway before you start running um, and it'll become like a mental reflex like even if you think about working out sometimes like oh now I need to go to the bathroom like it'll come to you I just noticed that the next tip is to stretch I've heard a lot of people say whether or not it's better to stretch before or after or both but I definitely feel better if I stretch after I'm working out it's kind of like a cool down um, so definitely stretch after your workout and before you think you should, but um, that's my next tip is stretching. The next tip I have is to track your progress, whether that's before or after, but your progress, whether it's goals, should be specific and measurable and realistic and attainable. So the SMART method, but um, for example, what I do is for a week, I'll, I'll be like, okay, on Monday, I want to do at least 10 push-ups. And then when Monday rolls around, I know what I want to do that day, and I'll do 10 push-ups. Set yourself up for success. So if you do 12 push-ups, you've beaten that goal that you had. You can go even further and be like, I want to do 10 push-ups in 7 seconds or something like that. But 
make it a little challenging but realistic with tracking your progress you can see like how you go as the weeks and months go on so like at the end of the month see if you can do 20 push-ups on Monday and how fast can you do them in and big for me if I don't do push-ups a whole bunch and you know running too or sit-ups any you know push-up sit-up running if I don't use it I lose it as they say so use it or lose it do it frequently or else you're gonna have to work those muscles back up again the final tip I have for you guys is to chase that feeling so I mentioned this in my running video but basically it's the feeling sucks sometimes like you don't want to work out and sometimes it's uncomfortable while you're working out because you're challenging your body right so you don't want to do it but it's a it's a mind trick you've got to get past the mind trick because after you've done the workout or the push-ups or running or whatever you feel even better after and sometimes you want to do even more so that in that moment that feeling of wanting to do more you feel great that's the feeling that you you have to remember that's coming before you work out so when I was running like in that video I knew I'd get that feeling I didn't want to run being honest with you guys right now but I did the run I did the mile mile and a half whatever it was and I was like okay I'm doing this I'm motivated and then I ended up doing like two two and a half miles by the end of it so know that that feeling is gonna be there and then that helps you to keep going but the, like they say the hardest part is to get started it's because like you regret it but once you're started it's great so guys that's all I have for today let me know what you think about these tips if you have any tips you want to share, I'll see you next time. Bye.